Hi, this is Mrs. Gooding. We are doing Lesson 1-1 Part 2 tonight over writing numbers. Um, our learning goal tonight is use standard, expanded, and word form to write numbers. Remember that when you're recording this in your journal, you don't need to write the quote at the top, but I do want you to read it because it might apply to our lesson or it might just be a quote that will be interesting for you to hear. But you definitely need to write the title, Lesson 1-1 Part 2, Writing Numbers, at the top of your journal entry. And then it's very important that you also write the learning goal. Use standard, expanded, and word form to write numbers. Don't forget to pause as you need to stop. If I ask you to write something or work a problem, you'll need to pause until you've written it or worked the problem. And then you can push play again and continue to watch. Let's go. Our learning goals for this specific lesson, these are the things that you will need to know when you come back to school. Now, we know with all goals, sometimes we're working to achieve those goals, but we might need a little help and support to actually master them. In that case, it's okay to come back to school with specific questions on what you still need help with. Here's our first learning goal for today. Read the numbers correctly. Write the standard form of numbers. Write the expanded form of numbers and write the word form of numbers. We're going to have a little bit of vocabulary that you need to write in your journal, so pause as you need to. First vocabulary term is standard form. Write it as I wrote it. Writing numbers using the digits 0 to 9. You may need to pause again. Expanded form. Writing the value of each digit in a number. And word form writing each number using words. Let's talk a little bit about standard form. Standard form is the way that we write numbers using digits. This is how we generally see numbers. This really isn't anything new for you. Here's an example. This example, if we read it, and we read it making sure that we don't use and, the word and, so listen carefully. See if you can catch me if I accidentally say the word and. 203 billion 900,411,675. Did I say and ever? I hope not. I hope you don't catch me. But if you do catch me, you'll have to make a little exclamation point in your journal and tell me the next day that I messed up and made a mistake. Remember, never use the word and when you read or write a whole number. Practice that anytime you see a number written in standard form today. And remember that when you're reading a number, you can separate it out by periods. So you read 203 and then say the comma name. 203 billion, 900 million, 411,675. It's easier to read a number when we break it apart using the periods and the comma names. Now we're going to practice some numbers um, using the standard form. So, First, I want you to write 24,472 using standard form. Go ahead and pause and do that now and then start again when you're ready. Okay, you should have written the number 24,472 in standard form. Let's see if your answer looks like my answer. 24,472. If you have a different answer than I have, or you put your numbers in different places, you're going to want to try using a strategy where you mark out the place value positions first and then fill in the numbers. So since we read in words that there's going to be a number at least in the thousands period, we're going to make sure we have three spaces for our three digits in the ones period and three spaces for our digits in the thousands period. So as I'm reading 24,000, I know I have to write that number in this thousands period. If I write it here, there's 24. I'll put a zero in as a placeholder. Does that say 24,000? You're right, it doesn't. It says 240,000. So I'm going to have to come up here and use my eraser. And we'll have to try that again. This time I'm going to put my 24 in the 1s and the 10s place inside that section. 24. I don't need to put a 0 here as a placeholder for this number. Now we're looking at 472. There is one digit for each space, each place value position, right there. 472 fits in perfectly. We didn't have to add any zeros as placeholders. But if you are having trouble, please draw out those place value positions because it will guarantee that you'll put them in the right positions. 
Okay, now write six hundred two billion five hundred forty one million two thousand five using standard form. Okay, let's check our next example. We're writing six hundred two billion five hundred forty one million five hundred forty one million. 2,000, 2,005, oops, 5. That was a tricky one. There was a lot of zeros for placeholders. So if we know we're going to the billions, let's do our three spaces for ones, three spaces for hundreds, I mean thousands, three spaces for millions, and three spaces for billions. So if we read 602 billion, there's our 602 inside the billions period and our comma, 541 million, and then 2,000. If we put the two in this place value position, it would say 200,000. That says 2,000, so we fill in these two empty spots with placeholders, zeros. And then five goes right there, so we have to fill these in with zeros. You can see how tricky that would be to know where to put the zeros and where to put the numbers that you're writing. It really helps to have a strategy. Now you're going to use a number that's written in expanded form and write it using standard form. You're going to write the number 90,000 plus 7,000 plus 80 using standard form. Okay, our third example looked a little bit different because we're taking a, a number written in expanded form and putting it in standard, in standard form. We're still going to draw out our three spaces for the ones period and our three spaces for the thousands period. In this case, we know that we have a nine in the ten thousand space. So I'm going to write my nine in there. We have a seven in the thousands place. It has a value of 7,000, and an 8 in the tens place. What do I do with those empty spaces? I just fill them in with zeros as placeholders. That wasn't too bad. I don't even have to have that line there at all, do I? Good job. When you're writing a number in expanded form, you're really writing the value of each digit. Here's a hint. A rubber band expands and gets bigger. So when you're writing a number in expanded form, your number is also going to look bigger, a lot bigger sometimes. Here's a number, 4,907. Here's the example. We take the four, just like we did in lesson one. We take the four and write zeros for every digit that comes after the four. So we replace the nine with a zero, the zero stays a zero, and the seven is replaced as a zero. Then we're going to add the value of the next digit. We write the nine and add two zeros. And then we're going to add the value of the next digit, which is seven. 4,000 plus 900 plus seven. Did you notice that I didn't write the zero in that was in the original number? I left it out because it has no value at all. If I added 4,000 plus 900 plus seven all together, do you know what my answer would be? Yeah, it would be 4,907. That's a pretty cool way of checking to see if my expanded form is correct for my standard form. Here's another number to try. 613 million, we have no numbers in the thousands, 122. So 613 million, 122. Let's see what that looks like in standard, in expanded form. See, we wrote our six, replaced all the digits that followed with zeros, plus one, plus, and then we added all of those zeros, so we have 10 million there, plus three million, plus 100, plus 20, plus two. That number really expanded and got a lot bigger in, in expanded form, didn't it? Sometimes it's annoying to have to write all those numbers out, but if we want to do it correctly, we're going to have to take our time and do it right the first time. Let's do some practice now. Let's write 70,345,002 
in expanded form. Were you listening to see if I used the word and when I read that? Keep listening to make sure you're checking. Okay, let's see if you wrote this in your journal. Did you write 70 million plus 300,000 plus 40,000 plus 5,000 plus 2? If you didn't, check back and see where you made your mistake and try that again. Now let's write 42,050,201 in expanded form. This is a good opportunity for you practice, to practice reading these numbers too. Did you write 40? Look at all those zeros following that. 40 billion plus 2 billion plus 50,000 plus 200 plus 1. Again, that's a huge number. If you made a mistake on any of these, write down why you think you made the mistake in your journal. This is going to help you to be a more thoughtful learner in the future. And it will also help you when you come back to class because you can ask me questions and I'll be able to answer them. Here are some examples of writing numbers using word form. When you're writing a number in word form, you are really writing the number exactly as you read it, just using words. The commas should be located in exactly the same places. Write this number in word form. Just start the tape again when you've got it written in your journal. Did you write 62,401? Remember, we never write the word and in a whole number. 62,401. Do you notice that my commas are in the same places in both the word and the standard form? They come after the 62,000. There again, only put commas in the places that they are located in the standard form number. Don't add any extra commas. And to check, read your number in standard form. It should read exactly the same in standard form as it does in word form. If it doesn't sound the same, you need to go back and figure out where you made the mistake. Write the number 77,900,025 in word form. When you finished writing it, start the video again. Did you write 77,900,025? Did you put hyphens between your numbers 75 and 25? That's important. Let's try another one. Write 502 in word form. Did you write 502? Write 900,023,403,002 in word form. This one's a challenging one. Did you write 900,023,403,002? If you got all of these correct, good job, keep going. If you didn't, go back and practice some more. Look at the examples and then do the practice again. Now, if you've gotten all of the practice right or you've figured out where you made your mistakes and you're ready to challenge yourself, this is for you. Today's challenge for the standard form of 2,350,004 Danielle wrote that number right there. What error did she make? What is the correct standard form of the number? I'm not going to read it to you because I want you to practice reading it since this is a challenge. Just make note that that black comma that comes after the four, it's not a part of the number. It's a grammar comma to separate that from the next section. When you've figured it out, go ahead and write it in your journal and bring it to class to see how you did. Finishing up, I want you to review your learning goals that you have glued into your journal. Have you mastered them? Do you need to go back and review or practice again? Now, everyone in their journal needs to write down one or more questions that you still have from this lesson. If you understood everything, you have no questions at all, then I want you to come up with a question that might have puzzled another student or made learning for them hard. Once you've got that written down, it's time to celebrate. Go out and play, watch a movie, spend some time with your family. You've now completed Lesson 1-1, Part 2, Writing Numbers. See you tomorrow in school.